No more rumors. No more speculation, folks. This is real. Nintendo has announced the Nintendo Switch OLED model. That's what they're calling it. The OLED model. It even has OLED on the box. In fact, I'm looking at the box right now. It is snazzy. It is slimmed down. It looks like it, it's looking fantastic. Now, let's get into all the details about this. You'll be seeing the trailer on repeat throughout throughout this video. Sorry, not on camera today. Wasn't quite ready to go uh, to make a video this early today, but it doesn't matter because here we are and we have the Nintendo Switch OLED. This is, folks, for all intents and purposes, the Switch Pro. Now, there's going to be some disappointing aspects of this platform. There's also going to be some nice aspects of this platform. So, First off, uh, it does feature that 7-inch OLED screen that Takahashi Machizuki's been telling us for a while we were going to get uh, with vivid colors, crisp contrast, and it's going to be launching at $349.99. They made some quality of life improvements. Um, this comes from uh, Nintendo directly here. Uh, it says that the Nintendo Switch family of systems is about to gain a new member on October 8th, the Nintendo Switch OLED model. It will launch at a suggested retail price of $349.99, giving people another option for how they want to play the vast library of games on Nintendo Switch. Um, the OLED model has a similar overall size to the Nintendo Switch system, but with a larger, vibrant 7-inch OLED screen with vivid colors and crisp contrast. Nintendo Switch OLED model also features a wide adjustable stand for tabletop mode, which you're going to see in the trailer, and a new dock with a wired LAN port. Thank you, Nintendo. No more dongles. It's just right there in the dock. Should have been done a long time ago, but it is done for this OLED model. Uh, it says uh, it will have uh, a lot of players to play on the TV. It will share uh, detachable Joy-Con controllers for right-out-of-the-box multiplayer fun, just like the both Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite. With the Switch OLED model, the system can be taken on the go to play anywhere. Uh, versatility, a carrying case, and a screen protector set for a Switch OLED model will also be available. Uh, it launches on October 8th, the same day as Metroid Dread. That's right, folks. They are pairing the release of this with a Metroid game. Hell yeah. The next 2D entry on the saga that kicked off the original Metroid with vibrant color screen, enhanced audio. That's right. They talk about enhanced audio. It's really hard to get enhanced audio through a video. Uh, I don't know if that means, you know, deeper bass, louder speakers. Because I already think the Switch is pretty loud. Uh, and I, I don't think people were complaining about the audio too much. But, hey, look, if they're going to make the audio better, go ahead and make the audio better. Um, uh, it says, uh, the new Switch OLED is a great option for players who want to experience the new vibrant screen when playing in handheld and tabletop mode, said Nintendo president Doug Bowser. With the addition of this new model to the Nintendo Switch family of systems, people will have an additional choice of system that best fits the gaming experience they desire, whether it's Nintendo Switch OLED, Nintendo Switch, or Nintendo Switch Lite. Uh, yeah, so that's, um, wow. It's going to also have 64 gigabytes of storage. Now, people want to know um, some of the technical specs. This is where you're probably going to be let down, at, guys. It does not appear to be anything uh, that's different under the hood. I mean, maybe there's a die shrink in there. Uh, but beyond all that, there isn't really much different. So the OLED model is 4 inches high and 9.5 inches long and 0.55 inches deep. Uh, in comparison to the size of a normal switch, that is bigger. Uh, that is 4 inches high as well, but it's only 9.4 inches long. So it's slightly uh, you know, wider, I guess I should say, not longer. Slightly wider. Uh, it's only 0.55 inches deep, though. So everything should basically work pretty well together. Uh, the weight is obviously different. It, it's 0.71 pounds versus 0.66 pounds. Um, and 0.93 pounds of Joy-Cons attached versus uh, 0.88. Uh, but it is using an NVIDIA custom Tegra processor, just like the original one. It does have 64 gigabytes of internal storage, so they did double the size of that, so that's really good. Uh, and you can uh, you can expand up to 2 terabytes of micro SD cards. Um, it does have Wi-Fi uh, using the IEE 802.1 ABGNAC compliant with Bluetooth 4.1. Um, what's interesting there is uh, it's exactly the same as the original. Uh, so, uh, yeah, th there's really not a whole lot that changes under the hood. Um, it, it's just mostly uh, about those quality of life improvements and that OLED panel. Um, that, you know, has a headphone mic jack, all that jazz. Now, now, there's there's nothing uh, different here. There, there's no um, operating environments, 41 to 95 degrees and 20 to 80% humidity, just like the original. Uh, you know, battery life is going to be four and a half to nine hours. 
Um, that's quite interesting. Uh, the other one is also four and a half to nine. So I, I don't know if I've ever got nine hours even playing indie games, but charging time takes three hours and that's while it's in sleep mode. So yeah, it, it it's literally, it sounds like it's just a normal switch, but with an OLED panel. Um, and then obviously, uh, you know, that better kickstand and all that jazz. So this appears to be the switch pro now this, you know, when we talked about upgraded model, one of the number one things we've obviously talked about is specs. Uh, and while there aren't any specs here, just as an NVIDIA custom Tegra processor, I mean, that could be, there's no guarantee that that's like, I, I'm, the thing is the video outputs 1080p in HDMI or TV mode. So whatever happened to all that 4K DLSS stuff that Takahashi Machizuki talked about, we'll have to wait and see. Is this just a, is this just going to be the model that, cause, cause the way I look at this is this looks like something that's going to replace. And by the way, that OLED model is 720p. So it is a 720p OLED. Um, they, it, this looks like something that's just going to replace the, the normal base switch, right? I feel like this because it's basically the base switch with a few improvements and it's a bit more expensive. I feel like there's going to be a price drop on this bad boy at some point, and it's just going to replace that base switch. Does that mean we're not going to get a more powerful switch? Maybe we're not. Maybe this is it. This is what we're going to get. Maybe we're literally not going to get anything more than this until the next gen switch. So what's all that talk about 4K DLSS? Maybe that is for next gen. I don't know. Maybe this does support DLSS. I have no idea. I presume it's the exact same thing under the hood. Because I think if it wasn't, Nintendo would have told us outright that it's more powerful. Uh, maybe they're not telling us outright it's more powerful to not slow down sales of Switch. Even though Switch is like sold out. But hey, it's coming out October 8th. Good freaking luck. I'm pre-ordering this bad boy. Um, I'm going to be attempting very hard to get a pre-order in. If I can get two pre-orders in, we'll give one away, of course. Uh, but man, I'm so excited. Um... I, you you would think that I, I'd be a bit more disappointed because the specs aren't like this crazy thing, but I'm not really disappointed about it. Um, I'm glad that Nintendo's refreshing their console. They are addressing some things. I wish they would address drift. Who knows? Maybe they will be addressing drift. I, I can't talk specifically about that because Nintendo didn't mention drift, but it would be cool if there was a slight redesign of the Joy-Cons. It is compatible with all old Joy-Cons. Doesn't mean it won't have new design Joy-Cons on the inside. We won't know that until it arrives. You guys all know Spawn Wave will do a teardown and, and, and compare the, joy, the joysticks and see if there is any changes under the hood. But I don't know. All I know is, hey, look, the thing's real. This is real. This is tangible. Nintendo's doing this. Is this enough? Is this enough to keep Switch going for another few years? Or is this just a micro step to another Switch? Is this a micro step to Switch 2? Is that 4K DLSS rumored thing ever going to come out? I don't know. I don't know. Is Switch going to be a 10, 15 year device? I have no idea. Only Nintendo does. But hey, this is something. And as always, something is better than nothing. And yes, I definitely am getting one for myself hopefully day one pre-orders are always going to be a bitch but thank you guys so much for tuning in i am nathaniel robojets from nintendo prime i'll catch you in the next video